Hey guys, it's Karen, and um, I wanted to go ahead and get this video up for you guys because I know I keep saying I'm going to do it, um, and I just wanted to go over on what it is our new business is. Um, and right now, it's not like a full-out business, but I'm going to call it just a side hustle, a side job right now because we're just starting out on it, and it is making us some money, and it's building up. We've only been doing it for less than a month right now, so just still kind of getting into it. But I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what that is, what it is that we're doing. Um, this is something different we've never done before, and it's nothing that's new out there. Um, you can see behind me, this has part to do with it, um, but we are reselling online, and this kind of just came up. It's not something that we really went out and was like, oh, we want to start reselling online. It kind of just happened. And we started realizing that we can make money off of it. I know a lot of people make good money off of it. So we thought we'd just go ahead and start and try and see how it goes. And we've been doing pretty well. So let me just tell you how it kind of got started. Um, I had found some videos on YouTube of some resellers and I really was interested in it. I thought it was really cool what they were doing. And honestly, I just thought it was amazing at the good deals they were getting for clothing and things that they were reselling. So I told my husband about it and we wanted to go ahead and go out and see what we could find, if we could find anything good. Um, kind of more just wanting to do it just to keep for us even. And so we went out and we found quite a bit of things. And we came home and we ended up listing those items and they were really good quality clean pieces um, right now 99% of everything we're selling is clothing and um, we kind of want to do more than just clothing but that's kind of what we're starting out right now in and um, as you can see behind me this is just stuff that we just purchased and um, we did buy a backdrop and we did purchase a mannequin to do our um, pictures for just because it does look a lot nicer I think and um, so the mannequin was like $30 the backdrop was $12 so it wasn't an expensive investment so we went ahead and did that and um, we're just now starting to take pictures and put those up with our new mannequin so really excited and um, I just thought I'd share that with you guys um, it's been going really well We've been selling a good amount, and um, this is all selling on eBay. I haven't sold anything on anywhere else, not on Amazon, not on even Craigslist yet. But everything has just been on eBay. I've been looking at Poshmark. I know a lot of people sell clothing on there, so I don't know. Maybe we'll look into that, but right now it's just all on eBay. It takes a long time to take pictures and to put up photos put up the descriptions and to get all the listings up so it definitely does take up some time and um, I want to just share with you um, one of the hauls that we did this was from the Goodwill outlet store if you have never been to a Goodwill outlet store um, it's very different from a normal Goodwill stores I never even knew that they existed because where we lived in Ohio we never had one of these near us or anywhere around us never even heard of them but it's a Goodwill bins and you go inside and everything is in um, just plastic containers, plastic bins, and it's just clothing and electronics, just everything is thrown into these bins. And everything, or the majority of it is all by the pound. So all the clothing is by the pound. And it's just a really, you just, just very different from the regular stores. Um, but once we started going a few times, we were kind of hooked on it, and it's really kind of addicting and fun to go because it's like a treasure hunt. You never know what you're going to find. And um, so I want to share with you the haul that we got. Um, these items I have already taken pictures of, and I'm putting them on eBay today. So I will share with you, and I will let you know how much this all cost us, too. Um, so this is the first top that we got. This is Kimchi Blue. I don't know. I kind of have to look this up, but I don't know if this is Urban Outfitters or Anthropology brand. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, Kimchi Blue. Um, I haven't looked it up yet, 
but I thought it was just a really cute, pretty, it's sheer material. So I got that. And another one, this is from Express. And I have a lot of items, so I'm going to try to just go through them pretty quickly and not talk too much about them. Um, and these are all these shirts right now that I'm showing you are going to be women's. Um, we buy a lot of men's clothing too. Um, but this haul, we pretty much just got all women's clothing. This is just American Eagle and um, just a tank top. I thought it would be good for summer coming up. And this one is a maternity top. So I had seen that maternity um, does sell pretty well on eBay. So I picked that one up. And then this one is American Eagle Outfitters again. Um, but this is really nice. I I really like this top. Um, I lo that's kind of one issue is that I have seen a lot of tops that I would love to keep for myself, but I know I need to try to sell them because we do want to try to turn this into more of a business. Um, but this is a really pretty sweater, I think. Really nice color. And honestly, like, sometimes we'll get ones because of the brand name, and other times we get ones because we just think that they might sell or that they're unique, um, and it's something people might be interested in. So this one is Worthington. Um, again, I don't know a lot of these brands too well. And that's one thing that we're really doing right now is researching brands and just seeing what they go for. Another one that we picked up, this is Decree. And I just thought that the lace design, Mason? I just thought that the lace design was really pretty on this one. It's got um, lace going down the back there. So I just thought that was really nice. And it's three, four sleeves. I really love patterned tops and I just think that they're really pretty and, I don't know, I just think that they would sell. So that one. And then this one was really cute. This is a Disney Mickey Mouse. And it's kind of a, like a crop top style. It's pretty short. But I just think that's cute. It's glittery. And this one I thought was really pretty also. It's a button up. It's three, four sleeve or it can be long sleeves. And it's just a nice um, collar style there, shirt. And it's pretty, I think, too, with the flowers. This one is Express brand. It's like one of those um, baseball tees. And it has three fourth length sleeves as well. Just gray and black. So kind of nice. Sporty t shirt. And this one I thought was really cute. This one is um, H&M. And I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. It has a little Chihuahua dog print on it. I don't know. I think it's kind of unique, different style, but I really like it. And I think that somebody else would like it too. And this one actually still has tags on it, which is nice. This is another one that I really liked. It's a Charlotte Russe brand. And um, it's also a sweater. And I just thought it was really pretty. It's a black sweater on the back and on the sleeves. But it just has a really pretty um, print on the front there. So this one um, I thought was good for summer. It's Forever 21 brand. And it's, um, there's no sleeves on it, so it's sleeveless, but it's a romper, which is kind of popular, I think, right now. A lot of people are wearing the romper style. Um, so I don't know. I think this is just kind of a nice pattern. It's got an open back. Um, in the front there, so I thought that was cute. This one is really nice, um, Express. Um, this is really good. Mason, 
This is really good. Um, long sleeve, um, just like a button up. Really nice for work, career type top. I thought that was really cute. I think it would go really well with just some black slacks. Really nice, kind of polished look for that. And then this one is Ann Taylor Loft. Just a um, just a t-shirt, but I just thought it was nice um, for summer coming up. And I thought it had a unique zipper in the back there, kind of different. This is also women's, um, and this is actually a Columbia brand. So the Columbia brand women's um, button up short sleeve top. And then this one I thought was really cute too. This is Ann Taylor Loft. But yeah, it's a jean jacket and button up there. I don't have them all buttoned, but um, I just thought that was really nice. This one my husband picked out and he really he really liked this, so we went ahead and picked it up. I thought it was a little different, but I don't know. Sometimes you can sell some more unique looks. Um, but this is J. Crew um, men's shorts, and my husband really liked them. I don't know. I guess they kind of remind me of like golf shorts or something. I don't know, but so we picked that one up. Another pair of pants that we picked up was also Ann Taylor. And um, they're just a gray crop pant. And I think they're really nice. Um, they're kind of a grayish blue. And I think they're really, I think they're really pretty. They're in great condition. Also would be good for like office type work. So next we have, this is Calvin Klein, just a basic t-shirt. Picked this up, thought it was kind of different. Don't know if this will sell or not. Um, we haven't sold anything like this, but I thought it, I thought it might. It's Reebok, and um, it's a it's got shorts underneath of it. So it's like for tennis. I could see like it like a tennis sh uh, skirt, and it's got a little pocket in the back and pockets on the side. So I thought that was um, would be cute for playing tennis things like that. So I thought might that that might sell. I don't know. Um, and then we picked up just Abercrombie and Fitch, just a um, t-shirt. We actually just sold one, um, an Abercrombie and Fitch one. So these sell pretty well. They sell better, I think, than Hollister brand. And then this one is the last one that we have, and it is. Uh, Hurley brand and it's just kind of a normal t-shirt um, but I like that it had the black on the sleeves and a black pocket and then kind of a different um, looking pattern. So I just thought it was different. So yeah everything that we got was in extremely good condition. Um, there's nothing wrong with anything. There's no stains. We always check. Um, when you're going through we kind of just pick things up as we go and then at the end we'll go through and really look over every single item make sure there's no stains or tears or make sure that buttons aren't missing we actually bought a, one of our first tops that we bought um, we didn't think about it but we didn't really pay attention and there were no buttons on it um, it actually still sold even with it having damage <laughs> but you know we don't want to do that because most likely we're probably not going to sell them unless it's a really good high-end brand maybe. So we always are real careful with that. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you now that I'm done with that haul. So yeah, that is what we picked up. Um, got this off of Amazon. And um, plenty, I think it was like 12 feet, so we only needed a certain amount for the backdrop, so we have extra. So I use that and I'll just lay it on the floor, and anything that I have to lay on the floor to take pictures of, I'll do that. And then that is our mannequin. Um, and we got the mannequin off of eBay. So that's our setup that we have in here. Um, and then we have really good lighting because these open up and it gives plenty of light in here. 
So this is kind of a good room to do this in. So to just show you, that's kind of what it looks like when we have everything on. That's the final picture that we use for eBay. And um, I think it... I think it looks really nice. I think it turns out really well. Really excited. We were so excited to get the mannequin and everything. Um, we were just laying everything on the carpet. And um, I just think this is going to look a lot nicer. And it wasn't too much of an investment. So that is what we've been doing. That is um, the new thing that we have going on. And um, just wanted to finally get and share that with you guys. Um, and do a video about it. Um, I might continue doing hauls maybe every time we go to Goodwill or every now and then I'll do a haul of what we pick up. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, again, we're just starting out, but you know, if you have any questions or anything, I will be happy. Okay, so my camera died and then I, for I remember that I'd forgotten to um, tell you guys how much we paid for everything that we um, bought in that haul. So just real quick, um, here's the receipt that we got for that haul. Um, and up here I just put, um, because we do have a lot of bags full of clothing now, um, we have been labeling them. So right now we're just doing like A through Z. So this one was our first one. Um, so I just put A. Well this was actually, well, this was our first one since we've been doing our labeling system. Um, our first ones we've already sold so um, and then I also put on here how many items we got in that transaction so we got 26 items in this one um, and then you can see the pounds this was a little over nine pounds and it came to sixteen dollars and ninety six cents for everything and um, that comes out to about sixty five cents Per item so we paid only 65 cents per item which is amazing I think because those items were in such good shape really good brands um, and some really nice pieces so that's what we've been doing um, just wanted to show you guys let you know and show you um, one of the hauls um, if you guys are interested at all in other hauls I don't know maybe I'll do some more or maybe I'll do another video about this later on and just kind of see how it goes for us. Um, but I thought I would just go ahead and get this up for you and let you know what we've been up to. And hopefully you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys again soon in the next video. Bye guys.